this week, this video will be in two parts. So my part were, and then Katie's part, because we're both in the same family and we won't be able to have a chance to get together and film our video. So um, this week we're both doing what we got for Christmas. Um, and we've got our top 10 items and we're gonna say well, what they are, why we like them, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so my first item, is these brogues which I'm obsessed with um, they're in pretty burgundy colour which changes to certain areas like it's a bit darker at the bottom and lighter it's sort of like really pretty and they've got a little they've got a little pattern on them and yeah I said, I'm obsessed with them and um, they smell really good which is really strange but it's like it's leather and I like smell of leather and it came in this adorable box which is it says Bertie and it has two like um like passport travel stamps kind of thing on it. Um and it says like their history written on the front and there's a guy named Carlo who who was an airport cleaner who started sending shoes and then started going to the brand Bertie. So I don't know. I just really like them and it's got like a nice height and yeah. Um yeah. They're really cute and, and very good. So our next one is the MK Solid Girl palette which comes in like a pretty palette and with a little um, lip gloss and it has a really, it has like a nice design it has a um, there an eyeshadow in the colour whiskey which is like a dark brown and then that has three shades from the naked palette and then a hot pink sort of colour which I probably won't use but oops and I like the others they're really neutral and I'll probably go with a lot of things so, I like that. Um, and the lip gloss—it smells. The lip gloss smells amazing. <laughs> it's like really tiny, and you probably won't be able to see it. It's really small, but it's really cute and it smells like peppermint. It's very Christmassy. So, yeah. My second thing. Um, I would say I. This is one of the things that I asked for. Was um, another Hugo Boss orange perfume because I'd run out and I was quite sad. Um, so I survived like three months without this, so I guess it's not that vital to my survival or my existence, but you know, I like it a lot. Um, and it comes with this gift set, so it comes with one of the um, Hugo Boss perfume body lotion for women, which smells quite nice, but I don't probably won't use that. Okay, I'm going to give that to someone. Um, and then the nice perfume in the pretty bottle. No, oh, but I can't get that, of course I can't. Um, yay! <laughs> um, and it's pretty, it's got like bumps on it on the side, so it's quite nice to hold. And it smells really fruity and just quite fresh and quite, but it's still quite subtle, so it's quite good. Um, yeah, I really like it. And it's, I think it's one of my favourite perfumes. It's one of my favourite perfumes. Um, so yeah, I think I'll still do that. Um, <laughs> my next one is. The school candy Hesh 2 headphones, which have like a removable wire thing. I'm not sure why you want to remove the wire, but it has one. Um, and they're really comfortable. It's like a soft plastic thing, which I really like. And it says school candy on the top with school candy logo sort of thing around there. Um, and it's like fake leather things there, but it's really soft. And it has the note. Um, yeah, they're really pretty. And it's from the Desi Bell collection, which I think is one of the collections, I guess. I don't know. It's really nice and it's really loud, and I can't listen to it over half my iPad's volume. So I imagine it goes really loud, but I'm too scared to test it. I think it will hurt my ears a lot. So yeah. I like those, and I've used them a lot over the last few days. <laughs> Just casually ignoring everybody. But <laughs> yeah, they're really nice, and they're a lot better quality than my normal iPhone. Um, my iPhone headphones, which, which I guess is obvious considering they come with a phone, but you know. Um, my next one is this um, Esprit scarf, which is really pretty, and I wear it like that. I want to sort it out. Basically, wore this all of Christmas Day, but um, yeah, it's just really soft and I like the checked plastic it's like full woven and it's really nice so yeah 
and yeah I mean, it's quite wide but I'm, I was, I'm glad it isn't very long because it doesn't I don't I won't want it if it's too long but yeah I really like it and I think it'll go quite a few things and will help considering I'm refusing to wear a winter coat because <laughs> I've got a thin summer coat which I've been freezing in but the scarf will help because I refuse to wear a thick fleece coat <laughs> Um, my next present, which I was surprisingly happy with, are some socks. Right, I've got some pair ones too. They're really pretty and it's like a nice pattern. And it's like, um, like flex of white, you might not be able to see. But it's like quite pretty and they're really warm. And I like, I was just going throughout the day, I just swap the socking the pairs. Um, because I wanted to see which one was the best. And I think my favourite was the cream one. And it had like little perfect flex in. So yeah, and they go really nice with my boots, which is my next item. It's like my favourite things ever. So my next item is these boots, which are really nice. And they're, yeah, they're Steve Madden boots, which I've seen and desired for so many years. And because they've always been too expensive. And what well, did like a few weeks ago? I meant I was with my mum booking on the hardest website, which is where she bought Steve Madden boots actually. So, um, and they were on screen. I was like, oh my god, mum, they're like my favourite boots ever. They're the pushiest things. <laughs> and I think it's such a shame, they're so expensive. And I didn't and my mum's like took that on board and bought them for me. So I'm really pleased. And they're really leather. And um, they're real leather and it's like a nice chestnutty sort of colour. And it yet like the brogues, there it gets darker in certain sections, which I really like. I think it makes them adds more sort of character to them. Like really cool. Um, I'm still waiting for them to stretch to my feet because around this part it's a bit tight but when it does like stretch my feet I'm sure it'll be super comfy like that's what all the reviews say about them it, hopefully it'll mold my feet and I really like it um, it has, if I undo the laser you can see it has this like thing which is like this very nice bit of leather that's sewn in and you can like um, undo the laces and it'll come like a shorter boot which will look quite cool but I don't think I prefer it laced up um, and it has a zip on the side which will make it a lot easier to get off um, I didn't notice it at the start so I was just kind of struggling to take them off <laughs> but they smell really good again because they're leather and yeah I, I just love them <laughs> I think I wore them I wore them basically all day yesterday um, so yeah my favourites um, oh, they're, they're called the Steve Madden Trooper Boots and they're sort of like army sort of boot things but they look really nice and they're really comfortable because they're like kind of baggy around the ankle which in like tight around the foot which I think looks really nice <laughs> um, my next thing is these Henry Holland tartan leggings which you probably can't see the tartan part on but it you might be able to see it there um, it's like normal leather material um, not leather normal legging material and then it's got like um velvet <laughs> that's the word velvet um coming through in the tartan pattern which i think and it makes it really thick and soft which i really like and they go with a lot of things so i'm very happy with them um my next item which is, these are all family by the way um is from my family um a hollister west coast jumper the softest thing that ever existed. I love it. Um, it's like quite short, which I like in a hoodie. Um, so it just comes to my waist. Not my waist, my hips. Just below my hips. Which I think is quite nice. And, and it's got a big hood and it's just really soft and it's nice for me. Like, nice to go with a lot of things. So I like that. And then, so that's it for my family presents. But my favourite present for my friends is sort of half a turn, so you probably won't, and um, you're really doing some of it. But it is a handmade Christmas tree. Oh, wait, actually, it, look, it looks okay from this angle. <laughs> um, it's basically got a really pretty ribbon on the front, which I had to redo because I wanted to get inside. <laughs> and it was handmade by my friends, Anna and Anya who are at Dixie Rainbow by the way, so go subscribe to them. Um, and it's got little 
strawberry laces like it's supposed to be a Christmas treat and it's got little strawberry laces going around like tinsel and lots of different green and red sweets to make it look like a green tree with little baubles on um, it's like they're stu hand stuck in with what are they called? toothpicks <laughs> um, and into polystyrene like a towel so it's really pretty and I'm really pleased with it and it's like the prettiest thing that anyone ever bought me like that's been handmade and um, yeah I'm really pleased with it <laughs> um, so yeah that's what I got for Christmas and I'm really thankful for all of it and it was such a great day um, so yes so stay tuned I think Katie will upload her video later on in the day and that will yeah and <laughs> um, so go watch that video and like comment and if you're not already subscribed please do um so yeah have a nice day Merry Christmas.